What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlook here. Should have my Scream Sickness video here again today. Follow up to my Nev Campbell video that I just recently did because now two more, I would say, more credible, reliable individuals known as insiders who again have a better reputable reputation than me have come out and basically said the same thing i stated a few days ago now viewer anon is the most recent one he stated that yes i've heard nev campbell will actually appear in scream 6 but the bigger news is that the deal apparently calls for a much bigger role in scream 7 now as far as like the bigger role in scream 7 i'll touch on that and share my thoughts on what i think is going to happen based off of that tweet and share my own details about what i was told um after i read this next follow-up tweet so when it relates to one take news one take news i believe is in association with big screen leaks so the fact that they of course went out of their way to make a tweet like this this was then again another thing that shows us we're getting warmer we still don't have the actual confirmation because we of course will remain unconfirmed until we either see sydney or nev's team comes out and says it but at this point maybe the expectation should be they're not going to announce it because again we're in a no way home situation and they want you to go out of your way to see it and word of mouth to spread okay i can go see it because yes sydney was in this movie so as far as like nev and that whole deal with scream 7 what viewer non tweeted that's exactly what i was told by the individual who i'm telling you i trust because they haven't been wrong with me so far that i was told the same bit of information about a scream 7 deal and her having some type of uh her having like something in place already related to scream 7 that's essentially what i was told like the gist of what viewer non just put in his tweet as well so as far as like what that larger role will be in this instance, what they're saying when they say larger role, I believe they are indeed talking about her having more screen time. Again, the fact that they went ahead, just like with Screen 5, someone pointed out, can continue to shoot this movie. And now if she apparently has actually signed on now with her coming in midway through production for both movies and again with them going on and filming this one, actually with her not even confirmed to be in it until mid until like i would say filming started till after filming started that's a sign to me that she's not gonna have much screen time in this movie she she might have even less because again they went ahead and started filming screen five without her being around and when she was there we know we got one of the shortest appearances from sydney prescott ultimately in screen five so with scream six i'm confident she'll have just maybe even less screen time she's more than likely going to have less screen time than what she had in screen five the gist of what could be going on is you're going to have your survivor focused movie where you're centered on kirby gail chad mindy uh i think i mentioned sam gail chad mindy tara uh bringing in their mother because we know their mother is expected to be in the movie christina and all of these new characters that's already a lot you have going on there you know throwing sydney in sure you can throw her in but then of course you know again we don't want to take away from the survivors you've already established for the new movie they've already made it clear in some early early uh, plot descriptions that we've been getting told from press press releases that is going to be centered on those four survivors so it's not even going to be centered on sydney prescott which again i think is another sign added on to how she has allegedly signed on after filming is started that her role is going to be even smaller than screen five what she could ultimately end up doing is appearing at the end of the movie setting up something that leads into screen seven and her larger role is because of the fact that she it's it's something that has to happen at the end of screen six that sets up her having more screen time in screen seven and i'm not saying they're shifting the focus completely away from sydney or away from the carpenters i meant to say back to sydney what they're going to do maybe is give you a narrative in which the screen requires everybody on on the screen at the same time with everyone having their own importance to why they are here again in screen five it really didn't make any sense for sydney to be there all that much when it's not about her uh as much as it was a a i guess you could say a scheme to get her back to town <laughs> uh and still ultimately wasn't even about her it was about sam and then considering what it seems like is happening with scream six from the early description about the four survivors and you know catching up with them she's she's so far to me doesn't even have a reason to have a lot of screen time in scream six 
So what they're going to do most likely is establish a reason for her to have a lot of screen time in Scream 7 with the ending of Scream 6 where she will appear, she'll do whatever she needs to do to set that up, and then there's how her larger role comes into play for Scream 7, where she'll have more screen time, you'll get the, you'll get everybody like myself who grew up with that original trilogy, getting to see the film shift focus back, or at least having Sydney on screen more in the thick of things with a ghost face killing spree, getting to see her either try to solve it, uh, figure what's going on to protect her family, all of that stuff, very very much so full circle stuff especially if it's intended to be the last installment she's right there in the thick of things not only with sydney but you have the carpenter sisters who i go of course will be believe they'll make it out of this movie alive they seem to be the most safest in my opinion out of the two i would say jenna ortega is the safest due to due to the impact jenna has right now in the genre a uh, shout out to jenna ortega but Sydney Prescott, I'm now even more convinced and have even more faith in what I was told. She most likely will appear in this movie. If she doesn't, then she just doesn't. But again, with those two people that I showed you at the beginning of this video coming out and saying it now too, I have even more faith in what I was told by again someone I trust. And also considering the fact that those tweets were going on about things about a Scream 7 deal that I was told briefly about as well, I'm like, okay. We're getting warmer, we're getting warmer, we're getting warmer. If we get that official announcement, that's fine with me too. I just think that what we all should probably prepare ourselves for is it's not going to be announced. If anything, maybe it gets leaked because of someone identifying her on set and you go from there if, if it happens. But most likely they're going to try to keep this as under wraps as they can probably. And you'll have Sydney Prescott show up in the movie as a surprise. And that, of course, will lead to word of mouth. Internet goes crazy versus, you know, blowing your load right now versus hyping it all up with the is she or isn't she. Using that as a marketing tactic, that's honestly probably what they're going to do. And we should pay attention probably to how these cast and crew members react to the question about Nev going forward because that'll be very telling as well, obviously. But let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.